What is up and welcome to the Ice Cave. Guys, I have a quick five minute video for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoy the video, as always, please be sure to leave a like and of course, subscribe for more gaming content. If you don't know, I'm Iceman. Guys, today we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the external hard drive speed compared with the internal hard drive speed on the PlayStation 5 specifically for PlayStation 4 games. And in this video, we're gonna highlight both God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2. Two incredible games, one third party, one first party. We're gonna see how long it takes for one to load over the other and compare it against those different drives. Now, you might ask, why is this important? Well, as we continue to have PS5 games, it's gonna make it's gonna be more difficult to have a large number of PS4 games on your internal storage unless you purchase you know, another internal uh, drive or an NVMe, NVMe drive for your PlayStation 5. So this is going to allow you to utilize an external hard drive and then kind of look at the opportunity cost. Oh, is it going to be faster, you know, to use the internal drive? Does that really mean a lot to me for quick for games to load quickly? If it does, then of course, keep them on the PS5. Keep them on the internal storage or purchase an NVMe drive so that you can use that once it's supported. Otherwise, the difference may be negligible. However, however, from the testings that I've performed, it isn't. It's actually fairly significant. It's around 30 seconds ah, or more, guy. depending on the game. But it actually makes a big so difference important. playing it on the internal versus the external drive. But that might not mean a lot to you. Again, you have to compare the cost. What does it cost to buy an internal NVMe drive? Well, it's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost over $200 for a terabyte for a PCIe drive that can match the speed of the PS5. Right now, if you buy a one terabyte drive, PCIe 4.0, uh, seven gigabytes, if you're looking at the Western Digital SN 850 or even the Samsung uh, 980, both of those are over $220 for a terabyte. Now, if you, on the other hand, you get a external SSD, you're only looking around $100 for a one terabyte drive. Now, the external drive I used in this video was not an SSD. It was actually just your typical spinning disk platter drive. So if you get an SSD for your external drive, it would be faster than this. And I plan to do a video in the future specifically on that. However, if you're somebody who already has an external drive, this video is for you. So as you're watching, you're looking at the times between God of War and Red Dead Redemption. Again, thank you all so much for stopping by. As always, I appreciate you and I hope you enjoy the video. Iceman signing off.